Yo, what's up fam and welcome back to the channel and today I got another Beatmaker 3 tutorial for you. So last week I talked about some advanced MIDI editing situations to where you'll be able to adjust the velocity and on one part I misspoke. I kind of mentioned that there wasn't a way to really adjust the velocity on screen from the iPad just using your uh, touch sensitive but I was wrong. I totally forgot this one cool feature that you can use. I rarely use it but if you need to, if you really need to, I'm gonna show you how to use the touch sensitive velocity feature on the iPad in Beatmaker 3 and some other dope MIDI tricks and tips that you can use inside of your advanced MIDI editing for Beatmaker 3. Also, stick around to the end of the video. I have an announcement to make. You don't wanna miss this. Let's jump into it. Okay, like I said, last week I talked about MIDI velocity on the iPad using using the uh, the pads on screen. And I made a mistake and I forgot to mention that you can change the velocity. You can play the velocity real time um, in different velocities um, using this, this pad over here to the left. So what you'll do is select the pad. And just like on the controller, the harder you tap it or the softer you tap it, it'll play uh, quieter or louder. Over here on the left hand side, the lower you tap it or the higher you tap it, that will actually um, play it like that. So what I wanted to show you guys is, is this little icon. There's a gear icon right over here at the fixed velocity um, bar over here. Um, so you're going to tap that and then you'll see it says fixed MIDI velocity on or off and then it says uh, pads in the Y velocity. So we're going to turn pads in the Y on. So what that does is the same thing that this does over here. That does the same thing that this does over here to all of these pads. So now that you're when you're playing on screen these actual pads over here, these individual pads, so you don't have to select a pad and play it individually. You can play each pad, you can play each pad in a Y axis, so it goes up and down in velocity. And I'm show you what I'm talking about. So you can start at the bottom of each individual pad. And the higher you get to the top of that pad, the louder that pad is going to play. Like I said, I rarely ever use that feature because it doesn't feel to me as intuitive as tapping harder or tapping softer on a, on a regular MIDI controller. But in the case that you don't have a MIDI controller on you at the time, you don't have one around, then this can be... That can be a great solution to how you're going to edit your notes and how they're being played on screen for your tracks. Another thing that I wanted to go into was the um, pattern automations. So if you see my other video on mapping macros and automations, controlling automations from your MIDI controllers in the sequencer window, you already know how the automation automation works inside of Beatmaker 3. So when you do that, in Beatmaker 3, your automation is not just limited to the overall track itself. You can actually assign an automation to each individual pad so that that pad does something different, completely different from the whole rest of the bank. So if you have a bunch of drums inside of this bank and you want your clap to do something different, all you have to do is go into your sequencer window, go into pattern. You can either press the, the pattern button, uh, pattern tab there, or you can double tap on this uh, specific pattern that you want. And then we're going to go into pattern automations over here to the right. So just like I said in my other video on mapping macros and automation, you can go ahead and add an automation manually, or you can map your macros into different pads. And all your automation um, settings will show up here. And you can either draw those in for each individual pad or you can control them uh, manually with your MIDI controller. So in the end, you can actually end up doing something like this.
now that we got that out the way, I'm going to turn this back off because I don't really use that like that. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and finish this beat. That's how you do it. All right, fam, so that is how you use the velocity sensitivity on the iPad without a MIDI controller. Sorry that I left that out last time. I just forgot about it because I don't really use it. And let me know what you guys think about that beat. I might be dropping that on my beat stars in the next couple of days. And speaking of dropping beats, it's time for the announcement. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do beat critiques and some live uh, sessions where I go over your beats and listen to your beats. So this Saturday, I will be going live at nine o'clock AM Eastern Standard Time. I will be listening to your beats, giving you guys feedback. And let's make it a community thing. Invite your friends, tell them to submit some beats too. If you know somebody who's trying to get their beats heard, let them know, share this video with them. Um, how you can enter though is go to brandonrico.com and then scroll down until you see my contact form. In that contact form, what you're gonna do is include your name and your file or a link to that file, whether that be through Dropbox, your Google Drive, or whatever cloud-based account that you're using, or even your BeatStars or Airbit accounts. And let's all join in live Saturday to listen to these beats. We'll be giving feedback and critiques on the beats, good vibes only, no negativity, and any other information that you want everybody to know about you. You can subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to tune in on YouTube this Saturday, or you can go to brandonrico.com and you can watch us live from there. A lot of you have been tagging me in your work online, whether it's on Instagram, on Facebook, or even on YouTube. You've been sending me your links to your beats, and I just wanna showcase you guys here on the channel as well. So every week I'll try to remember to include the beat of the week at the end of the video. So thanks for rocking with me, thanks for rocking with the channel, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And remember, if I can create like this, you can create like this.